Salma, I'll start with you first. If you could describe the concept of the film to someone who's yet to see it, what would it be? It's a love story about a man that is at the worst place in his life and meets a woman that tells him not to worry because none of this is real and takes him into a crazy and extraordinary journey that makes us think about so many things about our own lives. Absolutely. I think it's perfect for the timing right now because we've got, all we have is time to think about that. Um, and the chemistry between the two of you is great. It's intense at times. It's emotional um, watching you decide what you have to do. Owen, for you, what was the best part working alongside of Salma? And was there any highlight for you guys behind the scenes? Um... I think that the best part was just kind of, it, it's a very original story. And I think that Selma just as a person, just the things that she says, the way her mind works, you just don't meet many people that kind of express themselves in the way that she does. And I remember just right from the beginning going up to meet her at her house and we're talking about the script and uh, and you hear kind of animals in the background because she also has sort of a Dr. Doolittle uh, you know, where she's kind of taking in strays. And um, and so I think that it was just kind of, she's, you know, a little bit my Sherpa in this movie, guiding me. And Selma's the type of person you'd want guiding you through life. I think it's well, perfect. I, Go ahead. Can I say something? First of all, I love your hair and makeup, but let me get to the point here. Yeah, I remember, I remember this meeting very differently. Yeah, you're gorgeous. You're kind of distracting. Yeah. This is not good. <laughs> but the funny part is that Mike and I had been talking, you know, overthinking everything, doing all this kind of re, uh, research. And he, we finally meet together. We're going to rehearse. Owen arrives. He goes, hi, hi. Do you have any food? I didn't eat and I'm a little hungry. And I said, oh, oh yes, I can make you something. Uh, make me Mexican, please. I like Mexican, yeah. Make sure it's spicy. Okay, and I'm, I'm trying to get the, I like to talk, you know, express and so does Mike. And we're bombarding him with concepts and, and cooking and questions and he's eating like this. Hmm, yeah, that's interesting. And at some point he's like, oh, I get it. I get it. This is perfect. You're crazy like the character. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> like, hey, we have to rehearse. And he goes, yeah. um, I'm good. And he walked out. <laughs> Owen, you buried the lead. You buried that entire lead. Well, I, I will say that Selma makes great guacamole. <laughs> Terrific walk He showed up on the set and he did. He was good and he was brilliant. But it was like, what just happened? I bet that was the first time. That was the first time you had something like that as a chemistry chemistry test. So it worked. Yeah. And he also when someone even just left. shows it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least we got some food and uh, we're all good now. And it came out great because, again, the chemistry between the two of you is so beautiful to watch. Um, something else that is beautiful, just for a moment, as a woman, Salma, I have to say, I, I pressed the follow button on Instagram today because, honey, you're continuing to break the internet, as the kids say. Uh, with these photos on vacation, enjoying yourself and having a good time. How incredible do you feel right now and the confidence that exudes from your photos? I don't have, that's because before Christmas, I was ready for 2021. I went on a diet and exercise a lot. I got to the vacation, took a thousand pictures for the first week. Then I picked out and, and I gained <laughs> all the way back. Uh, but I saved the pictures, you see? So I put them every two weeks, but I'm not like that anymore. It was a short window of consistency. And uh, so I don't have the confidence, but I have the pictures when I was confident, you know, a month ago for five minutes. I love that you're locked and loaded with photos because that is so normal. We all do that, okay? At the um, beginning, you are ready to take pictures and then you're like, oh, no, I'm too lazy. <laughs> oh, I want some ice cream. <laughs> um, this question I, I definitely love again as, as a woman hearing you say, uh, you said recently, I don't want to spend what's left of my youth pretending I'm younger and then not enjoying life. 
Um, I think that across the boards, a lot of people can relate to that. Why is that so important for you to be honest about who you are and what's been going on with your life? Because I'm smart. I'll tell you why. <laughs> what's the point of looking young if you're not feeling young because you're spending so much anxiety on looking young? I'd rather not look young and feel young. But if you feel young, you kind of look young. Does <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and you feel that way too, right? It's like, it's a, it's a mental thing. You want to feel good. You want to look good. I just feel, I don't know if it's young. I just feel entertained <laughs> listening to you guys. <laughs> 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 it's very fit though. All one exercises a lot. Yeah, I can see I do. Yeah. Uh, but, um, well, I do it just for even more than any sort of vanity thing. I, I just find it's a great sort of mood enhancer. Right. So just getting out and doing some kind of moving around, uh, it's just all of a sudden, it's like I can wake up in the morning and the storm clouds are kind of there and then I exercise and it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of ready to start the day now. You know, he eats as much as I eat, but he goes and gets the lunch by bicycle. I just went <laughs> so I to bring it over so I can eat it. <laughs> He would go look for the best restaurants by bicycle and then would eat and then come back in the bicycle. It's about all about the bicycle. Yeah. Um, Salma, yeah. the last thing I want to say, say to you uh, before I wrap this up with you guys, and I have one more for you, Owen. Um, again, I'm dying mine gray. We're letting the grays go, right? I'm trying to get all the gray together. Your decision, just let it go and let it be no Botox that's that's you that you're happy right not doing any of that i'm happy but i also have good genes i don't want to be yeah, a hypocrite. exactly if i was hanging like this i might change my mind i gotta <laughs> tell you you're a superstar you are absolutely gorgeous it's happening yeah. girl i mean the background yeah. the lashes the teeth <laughs> the, 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 the 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 thing that you have on uh, you know, I only look at my dogs and sweats. It's it's a joy to watch you. I have not had so much fun in these eight minutes ever, okay? Thank you guys so much. Um, I got to wrap it up, but Owen, just tell me, I talked to, um, yeah, I talked to um, Vince a couple months ago. Wedding Crashers, it, is it going to start soon, the, the filming? Uh, yeah, they've been talking about it. We'll see what happens. It would always be great to, uh, you know, to work with Vince on that. Uh, I love hearing that. You two are amazing. Congratulations on this film. Stay safe. Thank you so much.